everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today on my second video in the YouTube world. Uh, I want to welcome you and thank you so much for uh, coming back to, to see me and to see the content that I have for you today. Uh, today we were going to be doing a Jamar Retail Treasure uh, unboxing, but as you can see I already have uh, put the items up on a rack for us to go over. Um, but before we start, I didn't give my information the last time. Um, I told you where you could find me, but I never gave the information of how to find me. So my name is Marsha. It's Marsha's Trove, M-A-R-S-H-A-S -S underscore Trove, T-R-O-V-E, and that information will be listed uh, in the description below as well um, if you would like to find me. Uh, but I did get a vintage resellers pack of 25 items for $99. And I actually ended up with 26 items. So with my shipping, which was $33.42, it came to a total of $133.41, which came out to buy $5.13 an item. Um, I I'm very happy for the uh, items that I did receive. Uh, I am working on building up an Etsy store. So these items will be going to that and hopefully I can get that started here in the next week or two um, so, because my inventory is picking up on that. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first item we have is a Mondrian made in Italy size 8. It is a, a blazer. It's like an orange brown color. It is a three button closure. Um, I did not see the uh, make in that, but it's so soft and it's it's very, very pretty and it's actually in really, really good shape. So that's the back. It's uh, It looks like it kind of accentuates the waist a little bit there too. So that's really pretty. Mondrian, size 8, um, made in Italy. Next item we have is a, a vintage sweater. It's by Tony Lambert. And it is a size medium made in the USA. It's turquoise and like a kind of grayish tan color. Uh, but this one is also in very good shape as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's very nice. It's kind of elastic here on the bottom. But overall, a great sweater and a great size. This is also another Tony Lambert uh, size medium uh, black sweater. Sorry, I still have little fuzzies here. It's a knitted sweater um, as well. So two Tony Lambert sweaters, pretty good condition. No issues on that. Next item I have here is a B. Altman and Company, 5th Avenue, New York, 100% medium cotton sweater. And it's kind of like a, a greenish sweater, knitted. Um, so it's medium, and it's actually in really good shape. Really good shape. All the sweaters actually on this um, box were very good shape. Okay, next item we have is a Enrica Mazel made in Italy vintage sweater. And it has purple, blue, and gray. Um, and it actually, this one actually came in with a new with tag. Um, it's a size small, and I would say it's a little oversized. A little oversized, but very good colors, very good condition, and again, it is a new attacks. We got a Talbot small maiden maku. I don't know. I probably said that pretty pretty wrong there, but it is a blouse, and it's kind of like a off white kind of color. Um. So this is really good. It's a basic top, but you know, some that you could wear underneath a blazer. Okay. Now I was so excited to get this out of the box whenever I got it, but I don't know if it's supposed to look like this. Uh, Cause I didn't know if there were some pieces missing, but I'm gonna sell it as is, but it is it's very unique. It is a vest. How cute is that? 
with all these embellishments, this little fringe. So, and it does have little gold, uh, like this one has a heart, this one's a circle. Let's see if I can get that. And it's leopard print, and it feels like, sorry, it doesn't feel like leather. Now, this one doesn't have a size, I don't think, doesn't have a size and or a uh, fabric content uh, information or fabric tag uh, but as you can see there's little fringes here but there there's some holes that don't have any but I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be but again um, sell it as is but it's a great unique vest and how cute is that guys I love it love it love it love it you just can't go wrong and there's some also some down here some little, um, and it's, I would say it's like a brassy kind of gold uh, charms on the bottom. So like, I would say it would fit like a, maybe a medium large. But I thought that was a good find. That's new, unique. Next item we have here is a P. Selly for D. Sensi uh, Roma, New York. It is made in Italy as well. It is a hundred percent silk uh, Sweater and it's kind of like a mesh. It's kind of like a see-through You can kind of see that but it is in great condition great condition Very nice And again, that's 100% silk Next we have is Exclusively Miss Ook, Miss Ook. It is a size medium, 100% acrylic, and it is a short sleeve blouse, and it's multicolored. It has green, purple, um, and kind of like a, a beige kind of color to it. Very nice. And this is also in good condition. It does have some slits on the side here. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to do better on um, getting my items put in my closet or um, getting them listed. Uh, so, all the items that we talked about last week in the uh, Goodwill haul, actually today will be the day that I, um, all the items will be up, except for the vintage items. I'm going to wait on that just a little bit. Um, but all those items I bought. So um, this week I'll be putting these items up as well. And for next week, I'm going to try to have these items before my next video. So that way they're uh, available for purchase. Uh, but if you are interested in specific items that I've gone through, you can email me. My information, again, will be put on the description. And uh, we can uh, work something out, okay? Next item is a Wilson Sport Equipment, say size 38, and it looks like a, a vintage baseball shirt. It doesn't have any um, logos or anything like that. There is a couple pulls in thread, but other than that, it's buttoned up, but it's in great condition. It is blue and red. Very nice. Uh, this would be a good do-it-yourself if you would like to put some... Um, uh, some teams information here as well, or you could just wear it like this because it is it is it is great great vintage item Okay, My next item is a Liz Roberts by Robert Elliott large Jacket now it does not have the actual uh, Fabric con fabric tag, so I'm not able to tell you what it's made from but it's a very soft kind of suede feeling. It does have the padded shoulders um, and it is buttoned up. It has all this fringe, so very Western vibe top, which I love. And I did not see any issues with this. And again, look at that, the V with the fringe as well. And it is buttoned and it has fringe on the side. Very nice. Um, now I do note that on the inside, um, it has a little bit like of the peeling of the, not really peeling of the fabric, but kind of what we talked about last time is kind of like the, kind of the smooth, the smoother area, the kind of the balding, balding kind of area there. 
Uh, but overall, the external is the external, the outer uh, shell is very, very nice. The inside, it is a little peeling, but um, but it's not like peeling where it's just coming right off. Nothing like that. Uh, it's just smooth, kind of. Uh, but this is a great, great find. Next item is a Mark Jacobs medium, uh, kind of like a turtleneck kind of in a way, a sweater. I did not know whether this is part of the vintage, um, but the, the list did say is vintage, vintage in, inspired. So um, it can be just inspirational vintage, but it does have a little ruching here at the shoulders, very thin and um, it's kind of like a basic top, so it would look good on the bottom, of the bottom of what you're wearing. A sweater, uh, a blazer, it's like that would look really nice. Okay, so I was, I was excited for this find. This is a Machino jeans, made it in Italy, a chambray uh, denim top, and it is buttoned down. And so I was so, so excited, so excited, but then I found, let me see, then I found this little dude right here. Um, I thought I would be able to fix it, and I'm sure somebody can, uh, someone that's, you know, great at sewing and getting all this together. Uh, but I'm just going to sell it as is. Overall, it is a great sweater. I mean, um, top, but a button down top, but... I just I myself can't fix that so it's gonna be sold as is but it is a great it has the little it looks like a little hat a little cowboy hat on the buttons okay. another denim item we have is a Liz Claiborne size small a sleeveless vest very nice so you can tell us a little bit is that yeah I have to, I know again, wash them, items, steam items, hand wash them, whatever needs to be done, uh, depending on what the instructions say. But if anything does not come off or anything like that, I will put that in the description. Okay. Now this, I don't know, sorry, I don't know if this is, Vintage or vintage inspired, but I checked my husband's Wranglers, and um, they had about the the same kind of look. But I think I think this might be women's, but it is Wrangler size thirty four thirty. So it's a, I don't know if the women's. I have to do some research, so I don't know if Wranglers also has like the uh, the two sizes there. But it's a thirty four thirty. Of Wrangler jeans and these are in great condition no issues with these straight leg and that's the back yeah it's just so, great jeans I'm gonna put this over here I don't want to waste the whole video just so putting that stuff up um, because I am trying to go a little bit faster, guys, than the first video. Again, the first video, you watched it all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I was excited to find this, too. V for Valentino Boutique, size 10, made in Italy, skirt. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And it kind of has a wrapping to it as well. Uh, let me see if it's true wrap. And it's a fox wrap. Now, um, it is in great condition, but it does have some <coughs> pulls and thread. But I think I might be able to, to uh, get that worked out. There is a side zipper with the hook eye closure, but I, I love it. Very nice Valentino skirt. This is another one of my favorites. I was so excited to see this. It is a David Dart collection, maxi skirt. But I'll go ahead, go slow, because this is the best part. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Look at that. 
So I just noticed this, well, ooh, it has the same face on both sides. I was like, one side, the eyes open, one side, the eyes closed, but they're both the same. Um, it is a maxi skirt, slightly sheer. It does have a slits on both sides, but oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I'm trying to get y'all a good look there at the, the graphic. Uh, and again, it is a size large and it's 100% rayon. Next item is a Henry Greffel size medium, 100% cotton vintage sweater. And I did get a lot of uh, vin um, fall and uh, winter items, which I'm so excited because um, I didn't have a lot of that. So I'm, you know, it is just around the corner. It's going to get here before we know it. But um, it is. Very nice top. I did not see any flaws on this, the, the sweater. We have an Emmanuel Angaro medium blouse. It's a cute basic blouse. You could wear with jeans or a skirt. Sorry, I thought there was. And it looks like there's not a stain or anything, but it might be a pull and thread there. I don't know if you can kind of see it. And I could just tell just due to the irregularity of the fabric, but I'll note that as well. I was excited about this. Very excited. It is a, I would say, mini dress. It is vintage. And it is by AJ Bari. It's a size 6, 100% silk, guys. But it has all these pearls, uh, small pearls, all over the dress. They are some, and this is a good uh, DUI, just to fix it up. This would be good, wonderful dress refurbished. It has, it has all these little pearls around the neckline. Again, all around the dress. On the sleeve outlining the sleeve and this is the best part oh my gosh it goes to the lower back here and then it zips down but guys if if you can bring this back to life it would be such a beautiful dress and you know what it is alive it is it is beautiful because it doesn't have a lot of pearls missing so it can be easily done but again and on the bottom itself, I don't know if I can get that, on the bottom too, it has the lining of pearls. I'm in love with that dress. It does have a little bit of uh, yellowing around the collar on the inside, so it would need a good, I guess, dry cleaning here. It says, uh, it doesn't say, oh, it says, do not wash, do not dry clean, spot clean only spot clean only and I, and I understand why next dress I got was a very cute dress baby blue in color V neck and it's a strappy dress and it does have a, some, a hook eye there and button closure it is a let's see it is a Molly Parnas Boutique New York dress. It's a fit and flare, kind of high-waisted, and it also has a zipper on the back, but this is so cute, guys. Very cute. There are some surface stains that need to be cared for, and I will try to work on that. Um, I will try to work on that before I list the item, and if again, if I can't get that fixed then I will go ahead and sell it as is and put that in the description but very cute flirty dress okay. next I got is a pair of shorts now I don't know if there were pants made into shorts um, but I didn't have a, a brand or a tag a label on here and the only way I can figure it out is by the actual name on the button and again um, if you don't have anything to tell you what brand it is always look at the hardware um, because most of the time if it's a good brand it will have that information on there and it is a bugle boy so it's bugle boy shorts 
that have been, uh, it looks like kind of distressed or cut off here. And I might clean that up just a little bit down there so it's more even. Uh, but it may have been, it may have been altered already because it does have some areas there um, that looks like someone has altered it. And But they did a good job. You can't even tell that um, in the back much. But you can kind of tell there. I do not know what size they are, but I am going to put the measurements in the description box whenever we get that uh, listed. Next item is a Gap Extra Large Vintage Top, and I believe this might be a men's. It's buttoned down, and it's like a um, grayish kind of striped, white and striped. It does have some surface stains here, which I will work on. Um, but overall, a great top, one pocket. It does have, I guess someone, it's kind of lightly printed. I don't know if it was, you know, someone's name or so, the previous owner, but you can't, you can see it on the inside of the tag or at the collar, but on the outside, you, you can't. Next item is kind of like a blazer. It's orange. It does not have a name brand or a size tag, so I will have to get measurements on this. The loophole or the loop here where the belt goes through, it is um, detached in one area, so I will attach, I will attach that if possible. It does have a tie around the waist and then zipper closure, but it is a very nice jacket and again I'm very happy with what we got so far okay last item is a reference point vintage sweater it is knitted it does need a good sweater shave it's a size medium 100% acrylic it's purple and blue but overall um, it does have some stretch to it And that is my last item. So the last of my items. Overall, I was very happy. Um, a lot of, I, I think there was like two or three items that had some flaws. In uh, a cup, and one or so, I'm one or two, I might be able to fix on my own. Um, but other than that, I'll be selling them as is. They're great items. We got a mixture of uh, uh, fall and let's see, fall, winter, and a couple summer. Um, very unique pieces, that's for sure. Very unique pieces. Um, but um, I should be, I'm thinking about doing a third video or another video towards the end of this week to let you know about what's sold uh, for my closet in the week. And um, let's see. And also, uh, we had a small uh, thrift haul the other day and so I, I mean I think I only have like 10 items so I'll go ahead and put those two together and go over uh, go over that as well um, but other than that if you enjoyed today's content and please you know if, if you would like to subscribe to my channel please do and um, give me a thumbs up I greatly appreciate all your support have a wonderful day okay